Are you looking for the best steel wool pads? My wife recently got some and I used them all up because we got a new grill recently and it was kind of nasty on there. And so I decided that I needed to get some more so that I could show you guys steel wool because this stuff is amazing at cleaning that baked on stuff. And we actually also have one of these cast iron skillets right here. And that's mainly what we use the steel wool for is for trying to clean that. And I want to show you guys uh, a little demonstration of all that today. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and help to clean things that we cook with. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So as I was doing some research for this video, I actually came across steel wool for like headlights and windows and all this type of stuff. And I was like, wouldn't that scratch up those surfaces? So that's something that I still need to investigate a little bit more on. But in this box right here, we have some steel wool. And there is some, some steel wool on the market. Like there's an SOS brand that... Um, I think it has like some kind of detergent or soap in there. And so there's, uh, we use the steel wool usually without any type of soap, especially on the cast iron skillet because you don't want to get uh, the soap kind of mess up the metal and whatnot. So, um, so we use the, uh, just the steel soap and we usually use like some olive oil or something on there. This is it right here. So we got on Amazon and we were looking because my wife knew how much like the three pack or whatever she got at Target or wherever we were shopping at. And it was like, I was like, okay, that's, that's kind of expensive just for three. So we got on Amazon and we found this, a whole package of these things. This is doubled over. Let me break that open right there. Come on, come on, break it open. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that steel wool in there. They're each individually wrapped too. That's super cool. So that they, they don't like get mixed up with all the stuff and just kind of throw them in a bucket or whatever. If you guys want to check these out too, I'll link them up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it, not just take my word for it, but don't click off yet. We got to get to the demonstration and everything. Let's see, we're doing a bag in a bag here. And I'll go ahead and pop one of these guys out. And let me put that right there. So this is the steel wool here. It looks like a little sponge just made out of steel. How do you open this thing? There it is. And so, Whenever you get it out, there it is, a little, little round like cinnamon roll looking thing. <laughs> and so you can kind of stretch it out if you want to, if you want to like be able to get your fingers in there to be able to like move things around and whatnot. So uh, it reminds me like a like a slinky. Y'all remember slinky? These are like little tiny slinkies right there. Can y'all see that? Look at that. <laughs> so whenever you're going to clean something, metal or possibly like windows and plastic see-through things like headlights <laughs> um, you take this and you just simply scrub it on there just like that and it's gonna get off all the the stuff that's stuck on there. I was actually really amazed. This is actually pretty clean right here. I was actually really amazed at how much came off whenever I used it on our grill that we got. So let me take you guys outside. We bought a grill recently. We got it used on Facebook Marketplace. And I was a little leery about it because it looked like it needed a little bit of cleaning. And I think the guy cleaned it up a little bit before we came, but he, uh, it still needed a little bit of work done to it. It's a Weber uh, a grill, so most of it is aluminum. And so I knew that you could use steel wool on aluminum. So this is the grill right here. Y'all might've seen it in a previous video, but there was all kind of stuff like caked on up here and whatnot. But as you can see, there's some good, like still some charring or whatever is uh, right in here. So you just simply take this and like without soap or water or anything, you just take the steel wool and you just, it takes a little bit of some muscle work uh, to be able to make it happen. But if you put in, look, look at how easy that comes off. It's so amazing. You just have to put a, that pressure on there to be able to get it good. And since it's so like malleable, cause it moves and shapes to whatever uh, space you need, you can really like get in there and scrub, get in there and scrub. And it just, it, it's like, it just comes off like magic. I never really thought of steel wool as being a thing that I would use. I never, I guess I never really like understood how well it works, but after using it here, I am a steel wool fan, especially for barbecue pits. I mean, this thing, look, y'all can see the dirt. Can y'all see that difference right there? Let me zoom in. So there's this right here. This was the like the original look and I used steel wool to get it from this color to this color. Let's see if a little bit more comes off right here. Look at that. 
it just comes right off. If you guys want to check this out, I'll link it up, like I said, down in the description below, and y'all can go read other people's reviews about it, but I mean, you're seeing me do it right here with this super cheap package. I mean, you got a bulk pack there of steel wool. If I wanted to, I could go throughout this entire barbecue pit and do the whole thing. I did it all in the back right there, you can kind of see, uh, but it just works extremely well, and I highly recommend that you get some steel wool if you don't have any steel wool in your house as a good cleaning agent, because it just... It does the job. That's what you want. I'm always looking for the best thing that's going to do the best job for you. And that's what I've found here. If you guys want to see the uh, scrub brush that we use for dishes, I know this may sound a little crazy, but uh, that is the best scrub brush that I, in fact, my wife was trying to throw it away and I said, no, go get that thing, put it back on the counter. We're going to use that thing. And I did a review of it right here because we've had it for two years. It's a two year review. Go click that video. I'll see you on that video. Thank you dads for watching. Whenever I get this bar, barbecue pit, uh, video done. I'll put that on the screen there too. That thumbs up is always appreciated and dad out.